Hey guys, it's Haley here. We are in the kitchen and we're actually filming for a new cookbook that I have coming out. And my team's all here, you guys, and they're asking me incredible questions every time the cameras go off. So I said, Shelly, you need to ask me that question actually while the camera's rolling because I can only imagine if my team has the question that maybe you guys might as well. So go for it. What is the difference between the Fat Faster Bundle and the Bye Bye Belly Fat Bundle? That's a great question. We actually get that question a lot. Um, the difference between the Fat Blaster and the Bye Bye Belly Fat. So I'm gonna kind of segment it here. And I'm gonna do the Bye Bye Belly Fat, right? And I'm gonna do the Fat Blaster. So the Bye Bye Belly Fat helps to balance the pathways of hormone dysregulation that causes belly fat proliferation. I'm gonna say that again. So basically, it helps to create a balance in the hormones that cause increased belly fat, okay? This is my belly with fat on it, there we go. Okay, the belt. So when we see fat pockets above the belt line, right, there are certain estrogen metabolism hormones that how the body metabolizes estrogens, progesterones, testosterones, and glucocorticoids. So the glucocorticoids, don't forget team, are the ones that regulate the blood sugar, right? Remember, insulin is a hormone. So insulin is a hormone, just like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. So in the Bye Bye Belly Fat, we use conjugated linoleic acid, and that helps to keep, we've talked about this a lot, the blood sugar stable, so that it doesn't go too high and conjugate fat cells, or too low, and then causes the body to steal sugar, from the liver and the muscle. An artist I'm not, a scientist I am. It has metabolism DIM, okay? DIM is a strategic micronutrient that helps the body create a homeostasis in the hormones by regulating testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, glucocorticoids, again, which regulate the blood sugar, mineral corticoids, which regulate the structure of the body. So think smooth muscle, collagen, elastin, and then vitamin D. So vitamin D, they're trying to classify it as a hormone. So many women say, oh, I'm low in vitamin D. And I say, wait a minute, you're exposed to the sun. You know, there's no reason why we should have this chronic epidemic of vitamin D deficiency, at least in our country we're seeing it. And a lot of that is because these other hormones are having a hard time creating a homeostasis through the metabolism. So that's why I have DIM in there. The other thing is metabolism-free radicals. So metabolism-free radicals is um, unique in the sense that it's meant to support the inflammatory hormones, Shelly. So remember how I talked about insulin being a hormone which regulates blood sugar? We talked about the sex hormones with DIM, and unmetabolized estrogen will, we can back convert testosterone into estrogen, we can back convert progesterone into estrogen, but we can't take estrogen if it's not being metabolized efficiently and excrete it, so we store it in fat cells, okay? There's a, something that happens if we have an imbalance in the inflammatory process, and that is we put a lot of extra pressure in the glucocorticoids. So if you think about the words cortisone, right? We use cortisone shots when we have pain and inflammation. It's in order to stimulate, cortisone shots stimulate the natural glucocorticoids, which regulate blood sugar, but they also regulate the hormones called prostaglandins, which are pro and anti-inflammatory, right? So the, the micronutrients here help to support the glucocorticoid metabolism so that we have epinephrine, all of our anti-inflammatory hormones secreted at a healthy level to combat those that are at an inflammatory or unhealthy level. So I say, well, what the heck? So my joints hurt, why would I have belly fat? When glucocorticoids go out of balance because of inflammation, we slow the metabolism in the sex hormones so that the body stores them in the fat cells, especially that fluffy, soft fat. If, especially if you don't have a gallbladder. Remember, we talk about gallbladder as emulsifying lipids. Well, it also houses lecithin. And lecithin is so important. We, we talk about lecithin and menopause and hot flashes. Lecithin is so important in metabolizing. It's almost like the recycling plant of the sex hormones. So we need lean muscle, deep sleep, nice sex hormones, balanced blood sugar, low inflammation, lean body mass, nice collagen, elastin, hair, skin, and nails, and vitamin D is our immune system. 
So the Bye Bye Belly Fat is super popular because people notice a benefit really fast. Um, you know, this is the one that my girlfriends, my friends, they say, you know, don't let me run out of that because I, I see the results really fast. It helps melt belly fat. And now you can see why. There's a little hidden gem though in the fat blaster. A lot of people don't always recognize the um, results that they do in the bye bye belly fat with the slimming of the belly as fast, but the fat blaster is essential when you've either one hit a plateau, we'll talk about why in just a second, or two, you're easy to gain weight back. So you lose the weight and you perhaps, you know, look at a refined carb and boom, the weight comes back aggressively. So I want to talk about what's in this and why. So first and foremost, what we try to do is fat cells have a nice, not a nice, it's not so nice, but a hard shell. It's that way, or we believe it's that way in the body from a biochemical perspective, it's because that's where it houses fat soluble toxins, which are also neurotoxins. So it's like creating this ginormous wall around toxins so that they don't cross the blood brain barrier, they don't create toxicity in the body. So first we use enzymes, right? So that we break down that hard shell wall. We then use, that's metabolism enzymes, super, super important to break down stubborn fat. The other thing, so, so let me just refresh this. If you hit a plateau, I'm gonna do this, or weight gain's easy. So for example, you lose it and you gain it back really fast. The enzymes help to break out that outer shell. But then once we've break, broken down that outer shell, we actually need to bind the fat soluble toxins. So that's the metals. There's actually a keelant in here, which is almost like a magnet to grab those fat soluble toxins and excrete them out the bowel so that they don't have to go through phase two of liver detoxification, which we always talk about in the 10 day cleanse. So they can actually bypass a metabolic pathway that's usually really struggling when a person has a difficult time losing weight. Again, you've got to take fat, turn it into water soluble and excrete it. When you use a keelant, you bypass that process. So you take the fat, you bind it and you get it out. So we're gonna break the shell, we're gonna bind the fat, and then this is so important. Metabolism Sneeze has an anti-inflammatory that really targets fat cells. So unfortunately, one thing that our body does is when you have a fat cell, it never goes away. It simply shrinks, correct? So it doesn't go away, it just shrinks. When it shrinks, it actually produces metabolism stimulating hormones. When it's stretched out, it actually produces metabolism slowing hormones. So the quicker we can get the fat cell to shrink, the more this is gonna be a catalyst for weight loss. So again, the bye bye belly fat, a lot of people get that, you know, the, the soft fluffy fat just liquefies and goes away. And the fat blaster is so important if your body has just gotten stuck with the concept of weight gain, meaning it's easy to gain weight. A margarita falls in the mouth, your mouth and it ends up in the sides of your pants. You know, it shouldn't happen. Your body should be able to metabolize those things and process them out. So when do you use them? You can use them in a variety of times. I usually like to cycle them. So a lot of my clients will do 30 days of this and 30 days of that, 30 days of this and 30 days of that. I don't usually layer them on top, although I use the enzymes a lot in the Bye Bye Belly Fat, and I'll use the, um, uh, where am I? I'll use the uh, DIM a lot in the Fat Blaster to layer it on. So I hope that helps Shelly. That's how they're different. They're both super, super impactful, and they can both make a significant change in your metabolism.